For my educational history, I'm going to start with college. I chose to do this because of my awareness throughout elementary school, middle school, and high school. Starting college, I was ready for long hours of homework, being away from my parents for the first time, and making new friends. I did not feel like my high school education prepared me for the classes I was going to be taking. I came into college mentally prepared for the fact that I was going to struggle and I needed to use all my resources available to me. In high school, I was unaware of any issues, such as cultural, educational, and social issues around me. I was not aware not because I did not care, but because these things really didn't affect my day-to-day -day life. I was just in high school to get by, especially standardized testing. I didn't try as hard as I could have, and I didn't make an impact like I should have. I had not yet experienced enough to be aware of my surroundings. Growing up, I was raised in a small border town in Yuma, Arizona. I was born and raised there until I was 15 years old. During high school, I moved from Yuma to Mesa, Arizona. There was obviously a big culture shock, but it wasn't until I was in college that I recognized this. Growing up in a border town, I was aware of the major immigration that took place, but it never affected me. Again, it wasn't until I was in college and taking this TLS class that I realized there was probably a lot more going on around me that I wanted to admit or notice. While growing up in a small border town, there was a higher population of Mexican Americans. Looking back now, elementary through high school was focused more towards this demographic. Mexican American culture and holidays were celebrated more, Spanish was the first language, and the curriculum was based on lower income families. In the middle of high school, I moved to Mesa, Arizona. Mesa is very different from Yuma. Mesa is mostly a population of Caucasian. When I moved to Mesa, I struggled heavily in school because Yuma was far behind on education. Living in a higher class area with a population of Caucasian people meant that the school had funding for just about everything, including higher education. Other than these things I mentioned, school was pretty normal. We had sports, a variety of clubs, school dances, and standardized testing. I was lucky enough to go to school with funding for sports and extracurriculars. I played basketball and was active in Future Farmers of America. Even growing up in a lower income town, parents and the community were actively involved in supporting the local students. When I moved to Mesa, all funding was supported by the school district. We didn't have to worry about funds drying up. Doing this digital story was challenging for me. I struggled at first finding what to talk about. I didn't realize I was unaware of my surroundings until finishing our book and talking in group discussions. I had two very drastic schooling experiences. I didn't realize the impact the two experiences had on me because I wasn't aware. In the end, I did not believe I was ready for college due to my drastic move in high school. I wasn't prepared in the small border town I grew up in because the demographics told us that we would just go to community college or none at all. Social class played a huge role in my education due to where I lived.